Hi, welcome to Java Talent. So, in this video tutorial, I'm going to cover how we can download the Eclipse ID exe file and how to integrate Eclipse ID with Spring Tool Suite STS basically to work with the Spring Boot project. So, let's first download the Eclipse. So, Eclipse download, go to the browser. Just Google it, Eclipse download. Go to the official website of Eclipse ORG. And uh, here the latest one is Eclipse ID 2022-12. So you need to just uh, download as per your convenience because I am using the Windows OS. So here I am downloading for my 64-bit Windows operating system. So once you have click on this download button uh, so it will download exe for you here you need to click on download or from here you can download the exe file so let me download it okay so download is started <coughs> so actually i am having already the installer here uh, in the same location so let me pause this go to the installer so open the installer and you need to java double click on this exe file so it will start your installation process so i have started okay so here you can select the different version and different uh, category as per your choice so here i am selecting clips id for java developer because i am going to develop my java application over this id and this is the predefined Java virtual uh, location. So this is the uh, GRE location. And this is the installation folder where my Eclipse ID will be installed. So this is the folder. So let me open that folder. So this is the place where my Eclipse ID will be installed. Okay. So let me cancel it. <coughs> Just click on install. So it will install. This Eclipse ID in your system. So I am having already the different version of Eclipse ID, but uh, for your convenience and for this tutorial, I have just downloaded it and I will go through this installer, the latest one. <laughs> and further, I will. Uh, Add how we can just add our STS plugin to this Eclipse ID to work with Spring Boot project. So the installation has been successfully completed. If you can see here, the green is populated over there. And though you need to launch this Spring, not Spring, this is the Eclipse ID. I need to launch it. So I have launched it. So you will be able to see it here. And uh, here I need to select my workspace basically. So I have created one workspace for you guys. So this is my workspace. Let me delete the existing details. So I will put it here e project STS4 project I have just created for you. So I need to launch this. So it will launch workspace, whatever the workspace we have provided. Okay, fine. So the welcome screen is coming up for the Eclipse ID. So the now is the process of creating our Spring Boot project by adding the STS plugin, Spring Tool Suit plugin. So to do that, uh, there is the multiple option. So first, if you are going to this uh, official website, I will let you know how we can do that to add this Spring Tool Suit. So you will need to just uh, uh, download uh, this official uh, download this STS tool uh, from this official official website. So Spring tools to download. You need to go to this tools Spring. So you will able to see that Spring tools version four, which is the latest. This is the STS tools. It is coming. And if you are able to see here, it will be on whether you are using the Eclipse ID. It will be suitable for 
Visual Studio Code and Theta ID. There is the multiple ID for which this Spring Tools is compatible. So for our case, if you are going to use our Eclipse ID, so as per your operating system here, you can select whatever the operating system you are having, you can select based on your convenience. So this is my Windows operating system. So we need to select this exe file. So this installer for the STS. And if you are using Visual Studio Code, so you need to select this one. And if you are using the Thea ID, for your development so you can just use this one but instead of uh, downloading from this location from this website so the best way we can do it easily using the eclipse marketplace therefore spring tool suit can be integrated into eclipse id itself so let me first do that from there itself the best way is integrate this STS plugin from our Eclipse ID. So I have already opened the Eclipse ID here. So what I need to do is next is you need to go to this help menu bar and you need to go to the Eclipse marketplace. So from the Eclipse marketplace we can just search let me come it up. <laughs> Okay, so we need to search Spring Tool, Spring Tools or Spring Tool. If you hit enter, it will search Spring Tools version, whatever the version it is having. So the latest one is Spring Tools 4, Spring Tools 3 is there, Spring Tools 3 standalone edition is there, and there is the multiple. But in our case, let me go to it go to uh, with this first option spring tools 4 and when it's to install so once you click the install this will include these many type these many types of features in our eclipse id so spring boot uh, spring id boot microservices dash spring boot language server feature spring tools with main feature which is required so let me confirm this so it will install all the STS plugin and all details. So once it is done, we are good. So huh, yeah, let me go ahead and I need to accept the license and hit finish. So this will install the plugin. Before of doing that, uh, let me show you something. Like if you are going to create any project with the Eclipse ID without adding STS plugin and you, if you are going to select the wizard from the wizard if you are going to select the project there you will not find any spring specific project here. See general is coming, git is coming, gradle is coming, java project is coming, maven project is coming, om project is coming but spring project is not coming because we have not added sts plugin to this eclipse id for that region so it is doing inside the background so let's done so it is installing so the once installation is done you need to restart your eclipse id and then we are good once the restart is done, you can just relaunch your ID. So it will integrate the STS plugin. And again, if you are going to the market marketplaces and if you search for that particular STS ID, STS tools, so you will see that it has been showing that installed. Currently, it is not completely installed. So do you so once it is done, so what we will need to do is uh, we need to go to that one. Oh, background uh, background is still it is going on. It is installing somehow. So it's playing new tools. Okay. 
not successfully installed might be due to some reason but yeah once it is done you are able to see the let it be finished installation is currently going on it is completed 52 percent only so let it be restart now it is asking to restart my id so let me restart it So it is starting now. So this time you will successfully able to see your Spring Boot project in your project directory where we are selecting the Spring project type or any project type. There we are able to see our Spring Boot type of project. Okay, go to this one, go to other, see, now the spring boot option is coming, correct, import spring getting started content, if you are having already your spring boot project ready, so you can just import from here, or you can just create your scratch project from the spring startup project, so if you are click on this next, it will ask for the details, whatever the details, like uh, name of the project and all the details so i have created one more video with this uh, uh, starter tool using this starter spring starter io so you can go through that video i can provide the link of that video in the description box you can go through that 